Okay, so I'm going to show something that's pretty awesome today, which is sending files from Blender to Unreal Engine through Omniverse with the click of a button. Um, it's it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to go through the installation steps, which you just download it, install it, uh, put it somewhere where you've got about 40 gigabytes of data, go into the exchange, install uh, Blender. Yeah, they, they're developing on, on 3.6 at the moment, which is the latest version, and they, they keep it up to date. So there's regular updates for it. I've been, I've been using it for about a year now. Um, you have to go into the Nucleus, add a local Nucleus service. This will install a local host uh, web server on your machine and run it. This launcher um, is a cleanup tool that you can use. If you've ever installed Omniverse and had problems, check the link in the description and run that tool because it will clear everything out and allow you to get back to this page which is your username and password for your admin access if you forget this which i've done <laughs> you can't get back in so you have to clean everything out and start again so definitely write down your username and your password because you will you will need it it will log you out uh, over over some time so as you can see here it creates a local host the nvidia library projects users that's where your files get stored. When you transfer things from Blender, from Maya, from 3ds Max, whatever, you, whatever you're using. So if you install the Unreal Engine connector, this will go in and find the Unreal, Unreal Engine location. You have to choose if it doesn't pick it up automatically. Then in, in Blender, press N to open up the, the, pa the end panel. Add in your local host server. And that's it. You're done. In terms of setting up for for blender well almost done so um yeah you can now send files over with one click of a button to unreal so if you click export usd select your local host go into your projects folder this is you can put it in other places but this is where i've i've been putting placing um files select car Make sure that you put in a file name. If you don't, it, it will give you an error message. Click OK. Done. So now it's been the files have been transferred over. Well, that's the Unreal Engine plugin finished installing. So, so now the um, files have been tra transferred over to the Nucleus server. And if we go into Projects and Car, it's in there. Lambo.usd. So you can open this and preview this in, in Omniverse as well. Um, if you want like to do an intermediary check before loading it up in Unreal. It's very important that you look at the dimensions, the scale, the rotation, the location. These are all very, very important for how they will be loading in in Unreal. Um, other things to keep in mind uh, is um, in, in, the, in, this, in these settings, obviously you need to make sure that you name the file um in the stage you have to change the current the the, the default material prim path to root forward slash something else and choose selection only if you only want to select your files if you don't change the material prim path then when you pull in the usd it won't it won't load in the textures you, you may have problems with it loading in so i recommend changing that um so that's it. I mean, if you change the materials as well, it will affect the way that things are loaded in, in Unreal. And it's definitely worthwhile experimenting with that because it does change things a bit. So here in uh, Omniverse, you can see it loading in. The, once you've installed the plugin, which I'm not going to go through, it's pretty straightforward. If you don't see it, just click Add Server, and it should automatically pick up the local host. Um, I've just done it, and it, it worked fine. I didn't have any problems. So just drag in the file, the USD file, into the viewport, and it'll load in there on the on the on the right in the outliner. It takes about 10, 20 seconds to load in um, for this particular file, which is quite heavy. Um, it's also got a bunch of different root nodes, but that's because of the way I've got it set up in in Blender. And it comes in like a teeny tiny, teeny tiny little little version of the. For the car so as i said you have to pay attention to how the uh, scale is set in blender if you do control select the object and press control and a you can apply the the scale and the location and the rotation and it's a good idea to 
stick your meshes uh, in, in the 000 origin. So if you go into the Omniverse Stage Actor and then check Use Selected Assets from Content Browser with the Lambo selected, it will then load it in uh, as it is in terms of the location in your Blender scene file. You can see the origin point over there is off in the distance, just like it is in, in Blender. So if you don't set everything to 000, this is what will happen. I just wanted to show this as a way of, I think it's a good visual way of explaining how it works. It can be useful as well if you're, if you're setting, sending in a bunch of different files. See, if I reload in again, if I, if I try and reload everything, in, it sets everything back. So um, it doesn't make the changes that you make in the viewport in Unreal. You have to do them in Blender. Um, and yeah. So you can see how I've moved the file over slightly. And then if I click the Omniverse Stage Actor and click Use Selected Assets, you can see it pop over. Awesome. It's so quick. It is so, it's so good. I love it. Um, if you want to import the actual USD files into Unreal as static meshes, then you can right click on the USD uh, file and click it and click import. Set it as a blueprint if you want. It throws you into this blueprint view, which I, I don't really like. Uh, I'm going to drop, drop a, uh, a thread on the forums about this because then you have to go back in and load in your scene, which takes a bit of time. So, <clears throat> so I don't really like the way that that works, but um, yeah, you, you do end up with a blueprint, uh, although you could just do this yourself uh, just as easily. Um, but, uh, yeah, just thought I'd show, show this. So again, it's offset based on the um, origin point that's set in Blender. So when I dragged it in and dropped it off, it dropped off the origin point. So um, you can go into the blueprint, obviously, and move things around, but you, you know, you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this. I think for for, for my workflow, but um, uh, yeah, I mean, the the cool thing about this is that if you are working on a large scene, you, you can, if you set the origin points correctly, you can import groups of large objects. And that means you can then non-destructively update things, uh, you know, if you don't like the way things are. It's awesome. It's just the fastest way to transfer files over to, um, to Unreal from, from Blender. It's, fa it's fantastic. Um, yeah, so the materials uh, also do transfer over. There are some limitations. I'll get into that in a sec. So if I, if I alt drag, here you can obviously duplicate things. So if I duplicate the blueprint here, and um, yeah, the other thing you can do is once you've been once the static meshes have been imported, you can uh, Control A to select all of them in the, in the content browser, and then just drag and drop them in, and they all get placed at the correct location. In this case, it's uh, it's it's offset to the, to the um, 90 degrees, uh, just because of the way that Blender is, is exporting things. That might actually be a bug in NVIDIA. I might, I might report that as well. Um, um, so yeah, now it's now you've just got your static meshes. It does support the exporting for you know metallic, um, uh, roughness, normal your you know your color maps. So. Uh, I think it takes displacement as well, although I haven't actually tested this myself, but I think it does. You you can basically create a really complicated um, shader and then bake it down into these basic textures, you know, subsurface, whatever, and then have, have everything just export over for you. It's a really, really nice workflow for PBR, if you're doing PBR uh, models, which I am for my, um, for my game. So... Yeah, this is awesome. Really cool. I'm also just showing you can go in and make changes to the mesh, grab them all, export. Okay, okay. And then Omniverse Stage Actor, make sure you have Lambo selected in the content browser, click Use Selected Assets, and it will just load it in. So good, it's so good for, you know, checking modifications, looking how things are going to render, 
if you're using the materials that you know, that are coming in from Blender and not something like like substrate or um, which I think would look a lot nicer before this uh, car paint shader. <laughs> but um, yeah, for PBR stuff, it's so good to like preview things and see how they come in and and non-destructively make changes. You can even you can go back as well. You can go back to Blender. Um, if you click "Don't ask again," it will stop at, uh, asking for confirmation, but it will ask you again the next time you open up Blender. So it's not a permanent store. And there you go, color changing as well. Um, the color changing one's a simple example, but it, it, I've tested it with um, previous versions of Omniverse. This is the the first time I've been using the new one. If you do have any problems, um, definitely log them at the at the um, uh, Omniverse forum for Blender or for Unreal Engine or whatever tool you're using, because uh, they do they do listen they, and they you, you do get replies from the developers. I've spoken to the developers before as well um, to talk about other other bugs I've had in previous versions of Omniverse. You can suggest things in in this thread. You know what things would you like to see? They're they're actively developing it and you know definitely like talk to them about it. Uh, the the downside is that it's a bit it's a bit expensive. <laughs> if you're an indie indie dev and you're just using it for yourself, it's it's free as, as I understand it. Um, but if you're using it for work and you want more more than two licenses, uh, you know it starts to get. If you need access to more than two licenses, it starts to get a bit expensive. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hope that was useful. Cheers. <laughs>